Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X looking at Chinese drama land in the past week. First, we had a drama during this week that kind of airdropped the day that last week's video went out. On the 2nd of September, Yun Zhi Yu, My Journey to You, a period assassin idol period drama directed actually by Guo Jingming, but he uh, used a fake name for crediting this drama. It pretty much aired without announcing anything prior and a lot of people were guessing why this was happening because one of the very very minor role in that drama's actor recently uh, kind of got cancelled due to uh, he got caught on spot hiring prostitutes yeah not pretty but common in entertainment business now it's erased so he's not in the drama anymore and the drama didn't promote anything it just went live it already had multiple debuff on it apart from this person it also is directed by Guo Jingming who is kind of soft band in China he's still working but all the projects that he does doesn't actually have his name attached to it or has a fake name attached to it and then there are other things about this project that's being argued about on internet so things are quite messy and complicated with this drama but anyway it went live on a second and i am actually completely up to date with its episodes it's pretty watchable plot wise first couple of episodes very long each one is over an hour long as i'm into the episode 9 or something last night it starts to slow quite significantly so until we see the whole thing kind of hard to tell how well this drama is going to perform by the end of the airing if it can finish airing safely as if airdropping is not enough we have sudden resurrection from death a couple of days later on the 6th the drama that was stopped at episode 4 on Youku but still the banner was on Youku all this time went live again Zixia, I am nobody the Peng Chang led drama that I've talked about I've watched the first four episodes on day one and then there was nothing and now it's a 27 episodes drama so I believe they somehow finished the rest of the censoring that they didn't actually manage to do when they put out the drama which is just like how do you even make that happen in China anyway the drama is now on the go again and I'll try my best to keep up with it I'm up to episode 8 or something if it's worth talking about I will make videos on it. Let's just hope this drama can finish airing before hoping for anything bigger. Then one day after that, on the 7th, not exactly airdropping, pretty much just told you it's gonna go live one day before that. We have the Tencent adventure drama led by Bai Yu and Nini finally going live. Xi Chu Yumen, West out of Yumen, 38 episodes. But each episode is only about half an hour, not 40 minutes. And I am up to all the episodes that have aired by now, episode six. It's actually a really watchable drama, given it really has no competitor right now in Chinese drama land among all the dramas airing as an adventure drama into the desert, which although it has a fictional name, it really exists in China. It has a different name in reality. And it's one of the most legendary, mysterious, life-threatening death zone in the world. I am very looking forward to the rest of the drama. And they actually shot the drama at real locations with real deserts. And it looks amazing. If you have Dolby Vision, highly recommend you check out that on that type of device. Then let's talk about a couple of other dramas at different stages. First, a couple of dramas that have released their trailer. Number one, the second season of Qingyu joy of life has released its first ever trailer and it's very quick edit of basically showing you all the main actors coming back one shot of you one shot of him one shot of her stitched together doesn't really tell you anything about the plot much because they've just started filming there is only that much footage that is ready to be shown visually it kind of keeps to the original style although i think this time the color looks slightly better than the green and grayish weird color tone of season one let's hope for season two they are gonna listen to other people's advices and not making everybody look like they're really sick the other one is a fantasy idol period drama Shen Yin, the last immortal led by Wang Anyu and Zhao Lu Si Zhao Lu Si's line delivery still reminds me quite heavily of uh, that drama the way she talks which I think is just, you can tune it down girl you really don't have to pretend to be tiny and girly it's a bit weird I know I look like I am on the enthusiastic for good reason this type of drama is just so overexploited. moving on to the next drama that has also released a trailer this week it is a contemporary drama led by Jin Dong, Zufeng and many other what we call serious 
actors. It's one of a series of dramas that are going to come out from now on, probably till next year, that are closely tied to China's Belt and Road Initiative. If you don't know that, Google it. This is one of those dramas. Today we're going to mention multiple ones, and it's called 欢迎来到麦乐村 English title: Welcome to Milele Village. So it is talking about Chinese doctors getting sent to Africa to support local medical trainings and medical services. Most of the drama happens in Africa. You're gonna see a lot of not Chinese actors in this drama acting. As for the leading actors, such as Jin Dong and Zhu Feng, the thing with them is if they are getting right directions and they're not trying to make themselves look bigger than the role, then they usually do a good job. Judging by the trailer, it looks like a very standard, normal, serious but proper production. We're not sure when that drama is gonna go live, but. All likelihood, soon enough. Then there are a couple of dramas that have finished shooting during this week. First is the fantasy period idol drama Si Hai Chong Ming. Not having an official English title yet, it is an IT drama, 40 episodes, led by Zhang Linghe and Jing Tian. I believe when they started shooting, I talked about it once, so now it's wrapped. Waiting for next year for the drama to air if everything goes smoothly for it. Then we also have a contemporary drama that has wrapped shooting, and this is one of another Belt and Road Initiative type. Projects called 日光之城 also not having English title, literally meaning the city of light because it's set in Tibet and Tibet is on high plateau and it's very UV heavy. It is a 24 episodes contemporary drama that will air on Mango Television. It's led by Zhou Yu and many Tibetan local actors and actresses. Another drama that is a bit different from the usual contemporary dramas, and it hasn't released the trailer yet, so it's very hard to gauge what type of drama it's going to turn out to be. The posters look very standard and good enough, and Zhou Yu is a really interesting actor among all the actors of his age. And if it's a drama that's led by him, I'll definitely check it out for a bit at least. Also during this week, we have another drama that has finished shooting. It is called Chao Gan Mi Gong, also not having official English title. Meaning of the title is Super Sense Maze, and it is a crime, police, mystery, thriller, drama, 12 episodes, and it's from Tencent. It has a very strong cast: Dou Xiao and Duan Yihong. And now it's September, so if they're super fast and they're super lucky with censorship, it could come out before the end of this year. One final drama that has also wrapped shooting is a drama I've mentioned when they started shooting called. Ta He Ta De Qun Da Her Islands. It is a 40 episodes contemporary drama, family drama about multiple generations of women, and it is led by Xu Fan. Li Xiaoran, Ma Sichun, all very well-known actresses of their different age range. This drama is a Tencent drama, and also it's already been, I think, booked for CCTV satellite television. Tencent is aiming at putting this drama out before the end of this year. Let's see. If that one can happen, 40 episodes, quite a bit of work to do. But I think they did it with another drama last year, the year before, with Beyond. They finished shooting in October and they aired it in January. One final piece of news on a specific drama is during this week, a contemporary drama has gotten its license, and that is the Yi Ai Wei Yin, led by Wang Hedi and Bai Lu. Since day one of shooting of this drama, it's been under telephoto lenses of all kinds of paparazzi in China due to the popularity. Of the two leads, and this drama technically from now on can go live anytime. So these are all the things I've collected during this week. There are actually more items, but they're all unconfirmed. So I'll wait till they get more confirmed news to talk about them. As for last week's, the whole tax situation kind of pulled more people into the whole news during this week. I'm not gonna go into details because nothing is super confirmed, particularly regarding Song Zhu, the actress. What's gonna be the final verdict, right? Is she gonna be affected? Is she gonna be cancelled all her projects? Like what's gonna happen? This week things are being talked about on the internet, but nothing is. Confirmed. So everybody is kind of just watching on the side and waiting for some kind of result. I think since 2018, China has cracked down quite hard on entertainment business and on all the tax that people are supposed to pay and using all kinds of ways to. Get around it. The news is the total resubmitted tax from entertainment people adds up to more than 11 billion RMB. Yeah. Still though, that's not stopping people from from doing things wrong. And <laughs> like my brain cannot compute that type of number and what kind of like 
change you're gonna get in your brain when you have that number in your bank account that you cannot even count the zeros by one look you have to like do that <laughs> now understand how much money you have before i go i want to quickly mention for next week i may not be able to put out the two videos usually i put out on tuesday and thursday because you probably can tell my voice is a little bit rough and i've been having a mild cold and i do have a trip coming up that i need to do so i do want to recover fully before i go on depending on how well my voice is doing if it cannot perform well enough for me to shoot those two videos and put them out in time then you may not see me <laughs> and my videos on tuesday and thursday coming i'll try my best but if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen but for all the dramas i want to talk about i'll still talk about them i'll just move them down the schedule honestly haven't had a cold for five years so maybe it's overdue <clears throat> that should be the end of this video thank you for watching avenue x i'll see you when i see you in my whenever next video please take care live long and happy drama watching